Hello, now we are going to uh, check the concerns raised by the teachers in Google Meet, Google Meet sessions, where the uh, students can easily rejoin the meeting even after the teacher leaves the meeting. So here on the left hand side, you can see my mobile screen. On the right hand side, you can see my desktop screen. Okay, on the left hand side, I have joined the Google Classroom as a teacher who teaches Malayalam one classroom. And, and uh, on the right hand side, on my desktop, I have joined as a student in Malayalam uh, for grade one. Okay, so now I'm going to um, start. I'm going to initiate a video call. So in order to do that, I'm going to click settings here. And then I have a link, video meeting link, and then I'm going to make it visible. And save. So after a couple of seconds, uh, you can see the meet link is visible on the uh, student's account. So as a first step, as a student, when I see the meet link, I'm going to click it. Okay. So I click the meet, meet link. So on the next tab, I have the meeting uh, Google Meet window open, and the message says you can't create a meeting yourself. Contact your assistant administrator for more information. This is because the student has no permission to create a meeting, and he or she can't join the meeting before the teacher joins the meeting because the teacher is still here. The teacher doesn't uh, join the meeting, so the student has to wait. So we just uh, close this uh, uh, tab and come back. And then uh, the teacher joins the meeting by, by clicking the uh, video uh, button here on her mobile device. So it takes a yeah, couple of seconds. Now the meet is on and you can see uh, there's a join meet button. The teacher uh, is here, okay? The teacher is here. The teacher is, is not even joining the meeting at the moment. So what the, I'm on the student side right now, I'm gonna click the same link. The teacher is able to join the meeting, okay? The teacher didn't click at the join meet link. So let's see what happens. See that you can't join this video call because still the teacher is not it, it didn't get in so let's wait okay so i'm going to go back to the uh, mobile device then click join meeting the teacher joins the meeting right now okay so you know that it, it, it i mean it shows the meet call and everything you don't need to do anything just close the uh, that window and next is <clears throat> uh, i'm going to go back to the student account then click the meet link Let's see what happens right now. So this is allow that. See, now the student will be able to join the meeting. So click join. I'm going to mute both the. Uh, both the devices uh, to avoid the interference. Uh, okay. Now the meeting is on. And you can even see that the student can't even record because the record option for student is disabled from the GCL control panel. Now they can't even record the session. Okay, and the teacher can record if she starts the meeting on her uh, laptop or the desktop computer. She's not able to. She won't be able to record the session on the mobile device. Okay, so so after the session, okay, uh, we have the link here. Uh, for the meet session, I'm going to copy and leave it with me. I'm going to copy this. Okay, so let's see whether it's going to work after the meeting. Okay, right now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, as a teacher, I'm going to go back to my mobile device. I'm going to remove this student by clicking the name of the student and then click remove this minus button here. Remove. Then remove. And you can see on the other screen, it says someone has removed you from the meeting. Okay, now. The student has been removed from the meeting, but the teacher is still there. Okay, the teacher is still there. The meeting is going on, still going on. So what the student can do is, if the student, uh, you know, click on this link and press enter, or use the same link, you know, press enter, the student can join the meeting again because CB Abraham, the teacher, is in the call, still there. The, the student again join the meeting. 
this really can join the meeting. So this is what happens right now. Okay. And again, I'm gonna remove the student. Remove the student. You still have the link on the bar here. And I have removed the student at the at the same time end my meeting as a teacher. So I ended my meeting. Now the meeting is over. All right. Meeting is over. I'm gonna come back and check whether this link works again or not. So I'm gonna click enter. Yeah. It says you can't join this video call because the call doesn't exist because the teacher exits the page, exits the meeting. So it exits the meeting, so it doesn't exist. Exist. Okay. All right. Okay. Then what uh, next is? You can see on the teacher screen, it says uh, the meeting code is still there. See, the meeting code is VXG, HG, TG, BEA, uh, which is still there. And, you know, the teacher can, if, you, if she wants, rejoin the meeting from this session, this point. But here is the term, okay? What the teacher sh should do is the teacher should go back. The teacher should go back to the Google Classroom. classroom and go back and reset the link go to the link section and then click on three dots and reset meeting link and you can see the link will change in a couple of seconds see the link has been changed and then she needs to she needs to make it invisible to students by flipping the switch then go save now if you go back to the classroom of the student you can see the meet link the old meeting still exists and it disappears because it's, it no longer exists. And if you, if you come back and check this thing again, okay, check the link again, whether it's working or not. Center. See, the meeting code entered doesn't work because it doesn't exist. Okay, and then come back, come back to the teacher's mobile device and check whether the, the meeting is still there. See, the meeting record is still there because this is seen, this, the, the teacher left at 0, 0, 24 hours. So whether uh, the teacher can rejoin the meeting or not, you gotta check that. Okay, just click rejoin. See, no such meeting because this is just previous record of a previous meeting, and that meeting code doesn't exist because we have changed it. You cannot rejoin. So, if the teacher, uh, there is a possibility that the student can rejoin the meeting even after that particular Google Meet session, if the the teacher did it end the meeting by clicking that particular button to end the meeting. You know, there's a particular button to end the meeting. So that was like, you know, I should show you that button. Okay. Yeah, this, this is the button. Okay. This is the button to end the meeting. So when the teacher exits the meeting, she or he should press this button and end the meeting. Okay. So thank you so much. And just follow these simple steps to keep our students uh, safe from making their own video calls or using your, the link sent by you. Okay. So first of all, exit the meeting properly. Remove all students from your meeting. Then exit your meeting. Then reset your link and save it. All right. So thank you so much.